Welcome back to Excel VBA for Professionals. This is Alex Louis. Now, today we're going to get a little more nasty with these while loops. So, the previous video we were printing out values in one one column and multiple rows. But today what I want to do is I actually want to write something that will print all this out using the debug.print command. And I want to iterate through each row, then each column, print each one out, then next row, print each value, then next row, print each value. Now remember, when you're doing while loops, you always have to have an end limit that's going to break your while loop out of your iteration. And if we take a look, what I've done is I've randomly generated a couple numbers here using the ran between formula and what I'd like is I'd like to I like to iterate through the row but at the at the time that I'm iterating through the row I also want to print out each value in this column so the first thing you have to ask yourself is what is my limit for my columns and what is my limit for my rows and from just eyeballing it here we know that the maximum column that you're going to get up, get up to is going to be column four, and the maximum column—I mean, the maximum row that you're going to get up to—is going to be row twelve. What that tells you is that you can de you're going to have to declare two limit points. One is going to be your row max, and then the other one's going to be your column max because you only want to go up to row twelve meaning that your row max is going to be 13 and you only want to go up to column 4 which means your max col column limit is going to be 5 what I can do is I can start it out like this I can say dim max row as integer dim max call as integer now I've created two variables which are my limits one for my row one for my column now I have to assign them some values which I will do so so I'm gonna say I'm only gonna go up to 12 so I will set my limit to 13 because I'm going to use a less than relational operator now if if you choose to you can also use the less than or equal to so you would decrement max row to 12 and call max call to 4 now that I've done that I still need my row and column variables to iterate because I'm going to increment, right? I'm going to go this way. And then once I'm here, I'm going to come back and go this way again. Increment again to row three, dot, 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 dot. dot. Next row, dot, 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 dot. Next row, and so on. So what I want to do is I want to stick to what I've done last lesson and I'm going to assign them to row is equal to one and column is equal to one so I have my starting points and I have my endpoints here now the next thing is going to be a little more difficult to interpret but I'll, I'll walk you through it and we can we can hopefully get through it with it together we're going to start out a while loop, which says, because we're going to go row by row, right? So we're going to go from row one, row two, row three, and blah, blah, blah. But remember, when you're at row one, you also want to iterate through all these columns, right? But to start out, I want to set up my while loop to start out at row one and only jump out when I'm at 12. So we can start that out real quick. We can say that while my row is less than max row, then you're going to say WN. So we start out at row 1. Row 1 is less than 13. So this eventually will loop 12 times, right? It's going to execute the body 12 times. Now, if we are at, while we are at row 1, 
right? We also want to go like this. We want to go da 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 and and here, right? That in itself is a loop as well. And this is an important concept to learn which are called inner loops which means that I'm going to create an inner while loop to loop through my columns column headers well column column values actually where I'm going to say okay start at column one and go one blah 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 then my 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 outer while loop takes care of incrementing to the next row and then do the same thing blah 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 right so what I want to do here is I want to say that while my column is less than max call because remember we're gonna go up to max which is four we do less than because we don't want to hit the number five we're going to go from one to four right so we go one blah 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 right that's my inner loop and what we want to do is we want to say debug dot print we're gonna do row something along the lines of this I want to tell you what row I'm at and do cells of row call dot value okay now we also remember and right now this is not jumping out so as we iterate through the rows this is going to go on forever because nothing's happening to row remember this is a control variable nothing's happening here so on the outer loop what I want to do is I want to say that row is equal to row plus one because that will guarantee me that we're always going to ink we're always going to go from row to row so row 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 blah 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 now within my column loop which is my inner loop meaning I'm going now we're in row one and we're going to go this way right we're going to go this way we start out at column one it says one is less than five yes print it out now we're in the same situation that we are in the outer loop except we don't have a breakout statement for this control variable because remember after you print everything out on your columns you gotta break out so you can move on to the next row which means that in this inner loop I also have to have a way for this control variable to break out and the only way I can do that is I can say that call is equal to call plus one as we trace through this when we start out we're gonna say okay while row is less than max row so you start out with one is one less than max row yes it is then we go in here and now it's gonna jump into a new while loop which means that as long as this is true obviously which one is less than max call we are let one is less than, so right now we're over here we are going to print out whatever is in that value and then we're gonna move the column one over right we move the column one over now we're not gonna jump out of this loop because this means that we're gonna go back up to the inner loop and now call is the number two because we just incremented it is two less than max call yes it is so we're gonna print out 32 we print out 32 and then we increment the column again and now we're here we're still at row one we remember we're still in this inner loop right and eventually we're gonna get to a point where we're, this is gonna be false and when this is false we're gonna jump out increment row by one right which now will make it row two and we're gonna start again over here and then print print that again so if we run this and, and there's one mistake that I've done here on purpose 
and I want you to take a close look at the code to see what you think is going to cause this to not it's not going to be an error it's just going it's going to be a logic error it's not going to print out what you think so if we run this okay we printed out row 1 right and when we print out row 1 we have 6032 and 52 right we printed this row out all fine and swell and now what happened to the rest of the rows we're supposed to go all the way up to row 12 what happened here can you tell me what happened I feel like the Nickelodeon video my daughter watches Dora and, she, and they say oh press this can you tell me which item is this and then it waits for a response from my daughter and she'll yell it out oh it's a color green and they say correct it's a color green well anyway not to deviate but can you tell me what actually happened here correct <laughs> you need to reinitialize column to one because you have to remember column when you when you first print the row one it left off at five right it left off at five because it jumped out of this we never had this statement here so it doesn't know when it comes back this is always going to be false so it's always going to be five is less than five unless we tell it to reinitialize so once we reinitialize after we print out the column columns then only then can the system know to okay we start at one again so then this will reinitialize to one is less than one so my tip when you're doing this is to keep track of what your counter or your control variables are it's very important because then you're gonna run into problems like that where you see that you think that you're printing everything out but you're not so if we do that and we play then you see that we all we go all the way from row 1 to row 12 which is 70 46 55 and 30 which are the values that we want now for an exercise and I'll probably put this on later videos is why don't you try instead of printing them out in a real life scenario we want to start and not print them out but put them on maybe starting at the at this particular row I mean column and make a copy of this and put it over here so you'll have something like that with the same exact values uh, over here. Why don't you try that as an exercise? You can copy my code, okay? You can copy my code and try try doing this particular exercise. But then try and not print them out, but try and place them in the actual cells here. Now, if you want to know how to insert values into a cell please review my previous videos on how to do that uh, on Excel if you like this video press like visit me check me out at parttimemagic.com hope you learned something always free no ads thanks